Hi, this is Steve. Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. In this video, I continue to build the Nissan GTR R35. I am on issue 15, stage 56. Now in 56, we assemble the steering wheel, the steering column onto the dash, and I believe we go ahead and mount the dash onto the uh, interior tub. So that's pretty fun there, and I, I enjoyed doing it very much. So. Without further ado, let's get started on stage 56. Let's look at the instructions for stage 56. So for stage 56 we're going to be working on the steering system and here's all the parts that are included with that. And uh, we're going to be working on the steering wheel here and of course the paddle shifters, uh, steering column itself, and some of the mechanical pieces in the back that hold all, all that together. And it looks like we're going to mount this, after we're done with that, we're going to mount this to the chassis. So that's cool. We have a total of nine steps after that's mounted to the chassis. So, let me get the parts out, we'll get a closer look, and we'll get started. Here's the parts that came with stage 56. And it's kind of hard to see what's in there, so I'll take these out and we'll get a closer look. So here's a close-up of the parts. Of course, we, you can see here we received the steering wheel itself, the paddle shifters, the steering column, a steering shaft, which is made of metal, the rest are plastic, a dashboard panel, which has some 3M tape on the other side, GP, DM, and HP screws. So, uh, that's pretty nice. So let's get started. Now we're going to attach the paddle shifters to the steering column itself. Make sure your steering column is just like I'm showing you with uh, shifters, uh, the indicator, turn indicator, levers at the top, like that and your shifters themselves, uh, if you look at them, they're longer on one side than the other and those need to be up also. So that simply just goes down in just like that and we're going to put in GP screws on the back side. You can see they go way down inside there. Once again we don't want to uh, over tighten these. When they get snug that's good enough. Snug is good. Now we get our dash panel out, and of course this is going to go down on top of the dash panel, just like that, just like I'm showing you there. And secure that down on the back side with, once again, some GP screws. Need to hold it carefully here. There's one, and make it easier to show you this while I'm filming. I am going to take this out of the way, just temporarily. Of course you wouldn't have to do that but it might make it easier for you if you taped it out of the way and get the other screw in. 
Once again, we don't want to go too tight. Get some resistance, and that's good. Perfect. Now I can pull my tape off. Let's look at it. Looks good. And that's how that looks. Oh, now it's been a while since we've uh, had the interior base, so I thought I'd pull it out just to show you what that looks like. And it looks great. Now, of course, our dash is going to mount to the top. It's actually going to insert into a couple holes on the sides, one over here and one right here. If you see on the dash itself, we have a pin here and a pin right there, and they're going to just going to pin right there, just like that. And we're going to put one screw on top, and that's going to be a larger HP screw. Got that in. Good. And so next for mounting the dashboard, we have to put a screw in on the bottom of it here. Flip this over. And the screw goes in right here. It's an HP screw. And there you go. Next we're going to insert the steering wheel shaft. And that's going to go in through the back side here. So there's a notch here. You make sure you fit it through the notch on the back side. And then you gotta do the same thing inside. And then same thing there we go. So it goes through a couple different notches, the shaft does, like that, that is it there. I'm going to go ahead and put the steering wheel on, and here's the steering wheel here, it's going to go right up against the notch also, there's a notch for it. like that. And this takes a DM screw. Um, it's metal, so I think I want to go ahead and lubricate it. Just going to make the screw go in a lot easier. Turn wheel back on. And this DM screw has the flange, you can see that. And we'll screw that down. We we'll move the seat out of the way a little bit. And there we go. Probably back it off just a little bit. There we go. That's how that 
looks. And that's how that looks. Okay, perfect. And we need to cover that screw. They gave us a panel for that. It has some 3M tape on the back of it. Pull the tape off. And put the panel on. There it is. And there you have it. That completes stage 56. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit my subscribe button down below there. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for all notifications. Head over to EagleMoss.com and subscribe to this car today. It's fantastic. Happy modeling everybody and take care.